guys, what is going on? It's draft night right now. I'm gonna be doing a reaction to, I guess, at least the first five picks, you know, especially the Giants, because if you're new here, I'm a Giants fan, but five minutes and two seconds till the draft. I'm watching the pre-draft right now, and I'm very, very, very nervous. Um, I don't know why I'm so nervous. This is kind of sad that I'm so nervous, but, you know, the rumors are going around that Baker Mayfield is going one to the Browns, which leads me to believe that the Giants are gonna draft Sam Darnold if that happens. But honestly, you guys know I'm back on the Saquon train. I was on the Josh Rosen train for a little bit. But I don't, I don't want to say really anything negative right now because, as I said, I'm not going to talk bad about a player before he steps onto the field and before I see him play. So I kind of want to keep an open mind. But let's just say this. I, I'm, I really am believing in Saquon Barkley right now. I really think he's the best pick at the moment. And, yeah, I'm going to try not to have... A crazy bad reaction if it's someone I don't necessarily want um, I know that makes it seem like why are you doing a reaction video then but you know I don't wanna I don't wanna have to look back on this and that player that I thought I didn't want turned into a superstar or something like that so yeah I'm gonna try to keep my composure but if I love the pick you know I'm gonna show it but uh, yeah I'll also be reacting to the Browns pick the Jets pick the other Browns pick and Indy's pick and the Broncos pick as of right now I feel like they might trade that but yeah guys stay tuned because the draft is about to start so they just did the intro and they were showing all the players and stuff and they look really nervous which makes me feel silly for being nervous because technically this really doesn't affect me like these guys must be so nervous this is deciding their career where they're gonna live and all that in one of the clips they actually showed Saquon and then someone came up to him and was whispering in his ear and then they cut away so I don't know, I wonder what that means. He was covering his mouth as he was talking to him, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, oof, I don't know. The draft is officially open. I'm officially freaking out. And yeah, the Browns are on the clock. We'll see what happens. Nine minutes, 36 seconds left. Okay, two things bothering me right now. One, the Browns, they don't have their pick in, and there's 412 left on the clock. Second, I'm watching this on ESPN, and I know they're behind because I was watching it on NFL Network, but I prefer to watch on ESPN even though they're behind, so I can't go on my phone, so I'm just sitting here like, ugh, and it's also freezing a lot, so just a lot of, a lot of emotions right now. The pick is in, the pick is in, I'm very nervous. Okay, let's just, they're not even showing the stage yet or Goodell, they're just showing highlights of Drew Brees. Oh my gosh, the lag on this is killing me. Uh, alright, hurry up. I'm so nervous right now, come on. Just Go! Get on the stage, Goodell. Get on the stage. The lag and the freezing, it just like jumps sometimes. Like, I don't want it to jump when they see the pick. I just want to be there in the moment. The pick is probably already in on my phone. If I turn over my phone right now, I can definitely probably see who they chose. But I'm not going to do that because, yeah, I need to see it live. Get on the stage, Goodell. Here they go. <laughs> Why am I so scared? I've never been this scared before for the draft. It's lagging. Come on. Come on. Oh God. Seriously, do they need to lag right now? Oh, it's frozen. It's just frozen. It's just frozen. Oh, here we go. Gleam around to lag. No! They took Baker! Oh my god! No! Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. It's frozen right now, but he said Baker. Oh my gosh. I need to switch to NFL. Oh my god. This is no good. This is not good for me right now. I am very nervous. I can't believe they just did that. I literally cannot believe they just took Baker Mayfield. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh my god. My heart is beating out of my chest right now. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I he was my third ranked quarterback in the on my draft board. That is crazy. I'm shaking right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared of the giant. Oh my gosh. The Giants are on the clock. Please take Saquon still. Holy cow. I would have never, never guessed that. Even yesterday, until the rumors came out today, I would have never guessed that. I'm very nervous. Oh my gosh. I'm, I know, I think, ugh, like, if the Browns took Darnold, then the Giants couldn't take Darnold. I, whoa, whoa, I'm so nervous. <sighs> the Giants pick is in, the Giants pick is in, okay. Oh my gosh. Girl is very nervous right now. Whew. They're showing Baker Mayfield arrest, getting arrested highlights. Okay, um, please. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Sorry, you guys really didn't need to know that, but 
now it's lagging again and I'm not very happy but I can hear my heart beating oh my gosh oh my gosh they're just showing Mayfield highlights I am just my heart is beating so fast right now I don't like the lag but I don't want to switch over to the other one yet in case now I have the other one up though so I can do that after this after the Giants pick oh my gosh it's freezing again but it just says the pick is in the pick is in heart is beating my heart is beating I'm probably gonna cut some of this out because oh they're saying we gotta go oh my gosh here we go guys oh my gosh I'm so scared. Why do I feel like I could cry right now? This is this is so bad. Oh my gosh. I need to open my eyes. Why am I trying to close my eyes? Oh my gosh. I'm so scared right now. They froze. They took him. Let's go. Let's go. Sick. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. It froze. I didn't even get to see it. But he's walking. They said said Barkley. Oh, wait, is this real? I have to make sure. Oh my gosh, is this real life? They did. They did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to freaking cry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I was so scared there for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful, the Giants blue. Oh my gosh, let's go. Dave Gettleman, let's go. You trusted your brain. You took the best player on the board. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go. I'm so hyped right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so emotional right now. What is going on? Oh my gosh, my heart is still beating extremely fast. The lag kind of ruined the suspense a little bit. But I need to get off this edition because I need to go to, oh, why would I end up, why did I exit out of NFL Network? This is going to be a really weird video because I just am not staying focused, but, oh my gosh. They did it. Dave Gettleman, you did it. You did it. They did it. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, while the Jets are on the clock, I just want to give you a little quick funny story. So I used to work at the beach over the summer and while I used to like check passes there and while there weren't cars for me to check their passes, I would just read books and magazines so I was reading an ESPN magazine one day and they had a huge spread on Saquon Barkley, a huge article on him. I knew about him from the bowl game the previous year versus USC but I didn't know that much about him so I read this whole article on him, learned that he was actually born in the Bronx, everything, and that he was supposed to go pretty high in the draft and I, I really like started to like him then followed him on Instagram after that and I remember thinking to myself, oh that's too bad the Giants are going, aren't going to be bad enough to draft him next year. They're going to get a lot of wins they're not going to be able to be in like the top 10 or top 5 or anything like that and little did I know I'd be sitting here right now and Saquon Barkley's a giant so as much as this last season stunk it really stunk it it was worth it I guess in the long run it's really funny because I remember distinctly thinking to myself man that's too bad the Giants aren't going to be able to draft this guy and I was actually thinking, hmm, maybe they could trade up and get him, even though like I knew they wouldn't trade up, but ugh, happy right now. And the Jets pick is actually in, so we're gonna I'm gonna get that in this clip too. I'm just I'm coming down a little bit, but still. Um, let's see. Do I think they take Darnold or or Rosen? I I want them to take Rosen, but I think they might take Darnold. I'd like them to take Rosen. I think Dar I think Rosen would be great in New York. Let's see. They took Darnold. Wow, I thought Rosen wasn't gonna, I thought Rosen was gonna end up in New York either way. That's crazy. That's crazy. I bet Jets fans are happy about that. Wow. I can't believe Darnold fell to three. Wow. And I can't believe Rosen's out of the top three. Even though a lot of, some mock drafts had him like going in the teens. So that's crazy. Wow. All right, I guess Jets fans, let me know how you feel about that in the comments below but yeah i think that's great value for you guys hopefully hopefully he plays well brown's fourth overall pick is in right now i'm saying this is going to be bradley chubb but now i'm just realizing because like a lot has been going through my head did they show baker mayfield's like reaction to being drafted number one overall i don't think i saw it unless i totally just blanked out there but 
yeah, the Browns fourth overall pick is in. I'm probably going to cut this and then jump back on as soon as Goodell gets up there because they're still talking right now, doing an analysis and stuff. All right, five seconds later here, Goodell's coming out. I say this is Bradley Chubb still, so let's see. Whoa! Denzel Ward! What? Whoa! That's... My whole mock draft is totally messed up. I was going to redo it today. Um after the Mayfield news came out, but Denzel Ward, what? I don't even remember, I had him going, did I even have him going top 10? Whoa, wow, wow. All right, that's that's a shock there. All right, the Broncos pick is in. Let's see how this goes. Austin is gonna do it from St. Jude, I believe, Goodell said. So this is nice, let's see this, let's see this. All right, Austin, let's go. I say Rosen. Oh, they took Chubb, okay. All right, whoa, Rosen is slipping and the Bills didn't trade up. What is going on? Whoa, all right. I can't believe Chubb fell that low, to be honest, fell to five. All right, the Colts pick is in. I think they're taking Quinn and Nelson. That's what I said in my mock draft. I'm still just gonna say who I think each team is taking before the pick, even though it doesn't match my mock draft because obviously, since Baker Mayfield was taken number one overall, I'm not going to have him going whatever I had him going, like seven or whatever. Wow, they're just showing the fans. Get to the stage. Get to the stage. All right, here we go. Who's walking out? Yep, they took Nelson. and they needed that. They needed that for Andrew Luck coming back. They needed that. That's a good pick. That's a good pick for them. Okay, so I just checked my phone and I switched back to ESPN to watch. And apparently a trade just happened. The Bills just traded with Tampa Bay and the pick is in. But I'm on ESPN. So I'm, I keep complaining about ESPN stream on this thing. But I need to go back to the NFL site. This is an ongoing issue. Um, yeah, but it just came up on here. Buccaneers trade pick to Bills. You know what? I'll just leave it on ESPN. You guys are probably going to be so confused when I keep saying ESPN NFL on this video. Like, why well, I should keep talking about where she's watching it. But yeah, the, I, I projected a trade at, uh, at number seven, though. Just I thought the Cardinals were in trade. And draft Mayfield here, but woo! I, I I say they're taking Allen now. I say they're taking Allen. Um, it doesn't say the pick is in on here, but on my phone it did, which is you know the issue with the lag. But yeah, guys, we'll see what happens. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a Josh here, like I said. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Allen, but for that split second, we're not gonna know which Josh it is because Goodell's just gonna come out and say Josh, and then it's just gonna feel like a million seconds in between when it's literally point of a millisecond so here he comes let's see who it is I think they're gonna take Allen they took Allen they took Allen oh my gosh Rosen is slipping wow Rosen is slipping wow jeez I wonder what's going through his head right now because Chicago's up next and San Francisco's up next and I guarantee you both those teams are not taking a quarterback Obviously, I think we all know Chicago just drafted a quarterback last year and San Francisco just signed a huge deal. It just gave Jimmy Garoppolo a huge deal and Oakland is after San Francisco at 10. So, yeah, and they're not taking a quarterback either because they have Derek Carr. So, wow, Josh Rosen, once he gets drafted, wherever he gets drafted and whenever he starts playing, he's going to have a huge huge chip on his shoulder. Bears pick is in. I'm going with Fitzpatrick still. I had him in my mock. Oh, they selected Rokon Smith. Okay. All right. All right. San Francisco's pick is in and I'm going to say they're going with Fitzpatrick because I don't know. I'm really high on Fitzpatrick. He kind of reminds me of Jamal Adams a little bit with his versatility. Oh, wait, no, I had them taking Calvin Ridley in my draft. Wait, maybe it'll be him. Let's see. Let's just see what he says. Oh, they took Mike McGlinchey. Oh, wow. Really? Whoa. Whoa, I'm surprised by that. Ooh, the guys on NFL.com gave him, or NFL Network gave that pick a C. Whoa, I can't believe Fitzpatrick is honestly falling this far, but this draft, surprising draft, surprising draft. Raiders on the clock right now, but a little thing I just noticed was Saquon Barkley is wearing a bow tie tonight, and Odell Beckham Jr. was wearing a bow tie when he got drafted, so I don't know, Odell turned out pretty great so maybe maybe it's a bow tie effect hopefully Saquon will be able to live up to the hype maybe maybe the bow tie was a maybe the bow tie was a sign I don't know but I'm just saying I'm just saying what I'm observing Cardinals traded up Cardinals have traded up they have the 10th overall pick 
I think they gotta go Rosen. I think they're gonna go Rosen. I think they gotta go him. Our pick is not in yet. I do not believe. It doesn't say the pick is in, but it also doesn't have the clock up. But yeah, I don't think the pick is in. I can see Rosen going here. I can't believe it though that he fell this far. I still can't believe it. But I think it'd be good for him. Still be top 10 if he's picked with, by the Cardinals. All right, so now the Cardinals pick is in. I'm going to go with Josh Rosen. I think they traded up for a quarterback. I mean, I don't think they're really rolling with Sam Bradford, but let's see if it's Josh. Right now he's just announcing the trade. There he goes. He went. Oh, good for him. I still really like him, guys, as like a player, and I love his personality, so... I'm happy he went top 10. He's going to have a huge chip on his shoulder now. Ooh, NFL gave that a A-plus draft grade. Man, uh, I think he's going to play well over there. I mean, he's a he's a California guy, so Arizona, you know, it's pretty close to California. Obviously, you know, geography. But, um, yeah, I that this is a good pick for the Cardinals. I had them trading up in my mock draft. I wonder if he's mad. Oh, he's taking a deep breath. He's probably overwhelmed. Um... I had the Cardinals trading up for a quarterback in my mock draft, although I had them trading up for Baker Mayfield, but yeah, I think Rosen is a, this is a good, this is a steal, honestly, for the Cardinals, this is a steal, good for, good for Josh Rosen, even though he's not on the Giants, good for him, we're still, we're still going to support him over here as a Cardinal. Alright guys, so that's it for the reactions, I stopped at 10, and obviously other picks have gone by most recently. The Saints just traded up to draft Marcus Davenport, which I thought was interesting because I think everyone thought they were going to take Lamar Jackson. But yeah, this draft so far has been so interesting, especially Mayfield going number one overall. I think that is a very interesting pick. I still kind of can't believe that, but I, I see, you know, how it works. Mayfield got with a chip on his shoulder going into Cleveland. It's a, it's a good, I guess, like character fit for Cleveland. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he plays there. That's I just think that's a really, really really intriguing combo of Mayfield and Cleveland, especially though because of the uh, Johnny Manziel comparisons, which I don't really read into too much. I think they're really two totally different people, but I think Mayfield is a really cool fit for Cleveland. I think a lot of good branding or whatever is going to go on within between those two or because those two are together. But yeah, the Giants drafting Saquon Barkley, I'm just over the moon about that. I'm so happy about that. It just felt so good to finally get like a little win. I guess it's still la if it's still last season because last season was such a wreck. It just feels so good. This feels so good. I'm going to celebrate this little victory. I know I said this earlier. I was asking if they showed Mayfield getting drafted, but I actually found it. It was on his Instagram and it was just awesome, honestly, to see him get drafted. I love that part of the draft, just seeing the players reactions to getting drafted especially when they're at home and they have like the in-home like set up with the cameras there and their whole family's there even when they're physically at the draft too it's amazing to watch them get those phone calls because you can just see it their life changing right there with that one call their life changes forever and it's just it's so cool to watch that happen and you just got to feel good for all these guys that are getting drafted all right guys i'm closing out this video now i hope you guys get players you want on your teams and yeah make sure you drop a like on this video Drop a comment, let me know who your team took, and make sure to subscribe. Peace out.